Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our TOEIC unit for the month of April, so we're preparing you for some international communication using the English language.、Uh, that's what the TOEIC exam is all about, and hopefully our lesson today will help you prepare for that exam. Now, the topic for today is all about. Harassment in the office, and this is kind of、uh, harassment online. It involves Line, the application Line. So the title is "Crossing the Line on Line." <laughs> If you cross the line, you do something that's inappropriate. It may not be quite illegal. Or a crime where you'd be arrested, but sometimes it is. So if you cross the line, you do something that's inappropriate.、Um, I think it's crossing the line when kids tell their parents to shut up. I just,、mm. ugh, I hate that. I grew up, and you just didn't do that sort of thing. You、um, respected your mom and dad, no matter what. They're taking care of you.、Uh, but yeah, crossing the line on social media these days is where it happens. So few of us are getting together. For social events, because we're locked down, we're stuck in our houses and what have you. So people are using social media to be offensive to somebody else, rather than just saying it directly to them. Or sometimes, if you cross a line, we're talking about sexual harassment, and that would be not just speaking things, but perhaps even touching someone inappropriately. That's not cool. Uh, yeah, and、uh, if you're going to engage in this kind of behavior, it's a good idea not to use Line because basically <laughs> you're giving everybody evidence、yeah. that you've done something bad. But perhaps in today's conversation, it's actually a text conversation、uh, between Harry and Michelle. Perhaps Harry、uh, doesn't think that what he's saying is wrong. He probably doesn't think there's anything wrong with the things that he's texting to Michelle.、Uh, we'll let you all be the judge of that as we dive. Into our lesson right now. Let's listen to their conversation, even though it's actually a silent conversation,、uh, as text messages. Here we go. How are things going with the Breckenbauer case? Is everything okay? I've spoken to multiple witnesses. I believe there's enough evidence to go to trial. How's Tokyo? We gave the client our quotation and had several meetings throughout the day. So I've had minimal time to explore the city, but we had an extraordinary dinner last night. You're so lucky. The boss never sends me overseas. Maybe you can bring me back a souvenir. <laughs> I'm on pretty good terms with him now. Maybe I should ask him if you can come along next time. Really? That would be fantastic. He's a bit stingy, though, so we might have to share a hotel room. What are you implying? Come on, I know you adore me. This could be the start of a beautiful romance, don't you think? You sound like you're overworked. Maybe you should get some rest. L O L. I guess I shouldn't mix business with pleasure. Anyway. Are you still dating that guy from Tainan? That's a pretty personal question. Let's keep this conversation professional, okay? I guess you're right. Anyway, he's a really lucky guy. If we were together, I would take really good care of you in every way. If you know what I mean. This is getting weird, and I'm tired. I think I'm going to go to bed. All right. I hope you have some sweet dreams about me. I know I'll be thinking about you. Okay, guys,、uh, I talked a little bit about what crossing the line means. So you know, it's when someone does something that's inappropriate. You're crossing the line, almost like there's a line drawn that says if you're if you're on this side of the line, you're okay. But if you cross that line, oh oh, you're doing something bad or inappropriate, or maybe just criminal. So better watch out. So we've got Harry. He's kind of a creep. I must confess, that's my take on this guy. He's creepy, and、uh, if somebody were to talk to me like this, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give him much of my time. I, I would say, but you know what? It's hard at work because sometimes you're forced 
to have interactions with coworkers that are kind of creepy or make you feel ugh, just uncomfortable. I think you have that feeling sometimes to protect you. So if you're starting to feel uncomfortable or that someone's doing things inappropriate,、uh, try to get away, stand back, and if you have to, you have to go to the boss. But、uh, I would try to、uh, resolve it. Uh, on your own first, and if that doesn't work, you know, then then you have to get authorities involved. Uh, yeah, my、uh, initial impression of this is that、uh, you know you shouldn't、uh, say these things、uh, so early on. If you are interested in somebody, you got to start with the lower steps. You know, suggest getting together for coffee or something like that, and then work up from there. But、uh, he's making a suggestion there that is kind of overboard. There, it oh, crosses yeah. the line. So we'll talk about that when we get to that.、Uh, Harry begins the text conversation here. He says, "How are things going with the?" Breckenbauer case is everything okay? So they're colleagues here,、uh, they are coworkers, and、uh, they're working together、uh, on various projects in the office. So he's asking her about the current state of affairs regarding the Breckenbauer case. That must be their client or something, and they have certain things to do with that case. Yeah, how are things going with that case? Is everything okay? Is everything going smoothly? Well, Michelle sounds like she's a lawyer or an attorney.、Um, so she says, "I've spoken to multiple witnesses. Multiple means more than one.、Uh, usually, if I use multiple, it's three or more. Because if it were just two, I would say a couple of witnesses. I use couple a lot just for two. But、uh, she's spoken to them, so she's getting more evidence.、Um, evidence." It、also includes eyewitness accounts, people who actually saw what happened,、um, and you put them on the stand, and they、uh, swear to tell the truth. They are part of the evidence that goes on in a trial. She says, "I believe there's enough evidence to go to trial." Yeah, you have to have evidence in order to even think about going to trial. Otherwise. You're going to be thrown out. The judge will think you、uh, you don't have any case. You need to go get some evidence. Well, she asks Harry, "How's Tokyo?" So it sounds like they're in different cities, and that Harry's been traveling. He's obviously is in Japan. And、uh, to me here, of course, I'm not a lawyer, but、uh, because they're mentioning someone going to trial, that sort of tells me that these people work in a law office or something like that. Maybe they're both lawyers or something like that. So they're working on this case, and maybe this particular case can go to trial. And Harry says, "Well, we gave the client our quotation." Which is basically, I guess, your charge. How much you're going to charge them for your work? And we had several meetings throughout the day. So he's、uh, giving her an update regarding the Breckenbauer case.、Uh, we gave the client our quotation. We met、uh, many times during the day. So I've had minimal time to explore the city. He's in Tokyo, of course. There are lots of things to see in Tokyo, but he has had very little time. Minimal, a small amount of time. To go out and check out Tokyo, but we had an extraordinary dinner last night. Maybe they had some good sushi or something. <laughs> Usually, if you get to go on a trip and your boss is paying for it, they're not paying for you to be a sightseeing tourist, right? So you go over there, and sometimes on business trips, you don't have any free time to go and、uh, see some of the sights. Kind of a shame. But you still get to go on a trip, so it's kind of fun that way. It's good to get away. Well, he said they had an extraordinary dinner last night. So even though he doesn't have an, a lot of time to explore,、uh, they are having really good food. And like Tom said, they might have had really good sushi.、Uh, so Michelle says you're so lucky. The boss never sends me overseas. Uh, some people really like to do business trips.、Uh, other people don't. I think when I was、uh, just starting out, I thought business trips were really fun, and I just couldn't wait to go on them. And after a while, I just had so much work in the office. I hated having to go somewhere because you didn't get anything done. But、uh, yeah, some people really like it. If you like. Uh, business trips, you might want to look into being a salesperson. They actually go on a lot of business trips, or maybe a management consultant. They actually go out of town. 
、uh, stay in a city for four days and then fly back on Friday. That's the kind of company I worked for before, and I just thought, oh, I would hate that. Never being home and always being in a different city than my family and friends. So、uh, it sounds like、uh, she doesn't get to travel much. She has a little suggestion for her coworker, Tom. What is it? Yeah, she says maybe you can bring me back a souvenir. Ha 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 ha! Of course,、uh, again, she's not laughing for real. She just writes this down. And a souvenir, of course, is something that you buy to help you remember the place you've been to.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, if you go to the United States,、uh, you could buy some souvenirs there. Maybe a model of the Statue of Liberty or a cowboy hat or something like that. Those might make good souvenirs. And of course, if you come to Taiwan from outside of Taiwan, maybe you could. Buy Buy some tea or something, or maybe one of those、uh, magnets that have、uh, you know images of、uh, tourist spots in Taiwan.、Uh, those are some examples of souvenirs, and that's what she suggests that he do. Bring me back a souvenir, maybe something from Japan. Harry says he's on pretty good terms with the boss. If you're on pretty good terms with someone, or you're on good terms with someone, just means you get along, you don't fight. Uh, you might not be the closest of friends, but you have no problem,、uh, you know, doing things with that person or talking to them. He says maybe I should ask him if you can come along next time. So he is offering to talk to the boss about、uh, getting Michelle an invite to their next business trip, and Michelle says. Oh really? That would be fantastic. She obviously is getting her hopes up about getting to go on a business trip, but then Harry says the boss is a bit stingy.、Uh, stingy is a word you never want to have anyone call you because you know it just sounds like you're really、um, tight with your money. We would say they're a tightwad.、Um, They're not very generous.、Um, stingy is really a bad, bad name to be called.、Uh, I did have a group of girlfriends in New York. We'd go out to eat、uh, maybe like once a month, and there was always one girl in the group that just never wanted to pay for、Ooh. the tip and stuff. And、uh, you know, people start. Started calling her stingy, you know, a tightwad.、Uh, didn't want to part with her own cash, and we usually had to end up paying her share. Okay, so he says that the boss is stingy, and then this is where he kind of goes over the line here. He、oh, says、yeah. we might have to share a hotel room. Okay, that is、uh, definitely going over the line there.、Uh, when you're on a business trip,、uh, the men and the women are supposed to stay in separate rooms. That's the rule. Is going overboard. That's going over the line. He should not have made that suggestion at all. Yeah, I think that's really creepy, actually. And Michelle says, "What are you implying? To imply something means you don't directly say something, but you suggest the meaning to them、uh, by using some different words. So you'll often hear people,、um, you know, who are getting angry at the person they're having a conversation with, not being straightforward. They'll just they'll use that sentence. What are you implying? What are you trying to say to me?" Um, and then usually the conversation gets a little bit, it gets louder. Can we say that? It gets louder.、Hmm. So、um, yeah, it's it's inappropriate to joke like this. Maybe you're with a friend. You've been friends with somebody for twenty years. It's different. This is really inappropriate. Their their colleagues, their coworkers, don't don't be using these kind of lines with、uh, your coworkers. You could get in trouble. Right, and that of course makes her feel uncomfortable there. So she does have to ask this question: What are you trying to say here? And then he says, "Come on, I know you adore me."、Uh, that's also kind of、uh, inappropriate language there.、Uh, this could be the start of a beautiful romance, don't you think?、Uh, yeah, I guess he.、Uh, to me, it seems like he doesn't really have much experience in courting the ladies.、Uh, this is just going overboard here. And as you said yourself, Stephanie, it's. Pretty creepy, as we say. <laughs> yeah, it's creepy. He probably、um, doesn't know how to treat women to begin with. So, yeah. Anyway, Michelle then says, "You sound like you're overworked." She's trying to get off the phone or, or get offline or end this conversation at this point.、Uh, so, if you're overworked, you have too much work to do. You're exhausted. You you know you just don't have enough energy. Her suggestion to him in order to end this conversation is、uh, maybe he should go get some rest. 
Uh, you know, maybe if he were less overworked and less tired, he wouldn't be saying inappropriate things. I don't know. Uh, possibly that might be the case here, but still, he is saying these things and、yeah. probably should be held accountable、uh, for them. And、uh, Harry、uh, types in L O L here.、Uh, I don't think anybody says lol.、Uh, that's weird. I think it's just L O L, <laughs> which、uh, means laugh out loud. Laugh you know, out loud.、Yeah. That's right.、Mm. Uh, yes, that's a common abbreviation in text messages. And he goes on to say, "I guess I shouldn't mix business with pleasure."、Uh, that's what we often say. Uh, we should never mix business with pleasure.、Uh, you're there to work. You're not there to try to find a girlfriend or something like that. And then he says, anyway, you are still dating that guy from Tainan. Or it's actually a question: Are you still dating that guy from Tainan? And、uh, Michelle responds appropriately: That's a pretty personal question. Again, that's not something that colleagues should be asking each other. Yeah, she wants to keep the conversation professional.、Uh, he says, "I guess you're right. Anyway, he's a really lucky guy. Wow, this guy just doesn't stop. Harry doesn't know when he needs to,、uh, you know, shut his mouth." He says, "I would take really good care of you if we were together. If you know what I mean." Ooh, he's just yucky. He's he's making my skin crawl. We'll often use that to describe feeling really creepy about something. And Michelle says. This is getting weird, and I'm tired. Weird just means something that feels strange. It doesn't feel right. It's a bizarre conversation, and it's definitely inappropriate. And she says she's tired, and she's going to go to bed now. Of course, that gives Harry another line that he can use. She kind of sets him up here to say something again, very creepy. Absolutely, and Harry says, "All right, I hope you have some sweet dreams about me."、Uh, again, that's just something you're not supposed to be saying. And he goes on to say, "I know I'll be thinking about you." Now, it's okay if he、uh, is sweet on her, if he has a crush on her or something, but you have to go about it in a gentlemanly way. And this is definitely going overboard here. As I said, you have to start、uh, at the very basics. You have to try to get her interested in going to have coffee with. You and having a conversation, you should not make these kinds of suggestions at all, at least during the early phases of a relationship. So, and this, I, I believe, this is probably going to make her feel quite uncomfortable, and she probably will have trouble sleeping tonight. <laughs> She's probably、uh, thinking of ways、uh, that she doesn't have to work with him anymore. So, anyway, yeah. These are great examples of things you don't want to say, guys and gals out there listening, because I think some girls are inappropriate as well. It doesn't have to be just a man being inappropriate; a woman can be inappropriate too. So be careful. You know,、um, yes, coworkers can date. Uh, depending on your company's policies, some companies forbid that. But a lot of times, that's the only place where you can meet people besides church. So you know, I don't、uh, have a problem with my coworkers dating, but wow, be careful! This guy just jumps into the inappropriate pool immediately. And like Tom said, he doesn't even start out by going,、uh, "Hey, you want to get a cup of coffee?" You know, and become friends at first. So I think this is a good example of how you shouldn't cross the line online. Now, guys, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we have a couple of discussion questions that we'll、uh, talk about when we come back. 大家好，我是 Patrick 老师。我们今天要看到的是 Unit Three, Crossing the Line Online. 我相信许多听众都是通讯软体 Line 的使用者，也因此都有很多对话的经验。对话的对象可能是家人、好友，但也可能包括自己的同事或客户。纯粹只是工作的关系。Unit Three 这个单元的第一天，对话中的男性叫 Harry， 女性叫 Michelle。随着彼此在 Line 上面讯息的往返，我们了解到 Harry 不断跨越红线。希望能够和 Michelle 有工作以外的发展。希望透过这个单元，大家能够学习到什么样的言语，对方听起来并不舒服，可能会构成性骚扰。我们先看看这一篇讯息对话当中有哪些实用的惯用语、单字、片语。首先，我们先看第一个 ，How are things going with 什么什么东西？其实就是在问别人什么东西进行的如何。接着第二点 
Harry. 他说 ，I'm on pretty good terms with him. 这里的 him 所指的是 the boss， 他的上司、老板。那这个片语 on 什么 terms with 什么人，非常的实用。我们怎么用呢？老师再给大家一个例句。My colleague and I had some disputes over who deserves a bigger bonus, but now we are on friendly terms. 我的同事之前和我有过一些争执，我们都认为自己应该要获得多一点的分红，但是我们现在关系很好。We are on friendly terms. 我们再看下一个重点，第三个是 Michelle 说的。What are you implying? 这个惯用法。也值得同学学习。你到底在暗示什么？你的话是什么意思？再来第四个重点。You sound like you are overworked. Maybe you should get some rest. 好 ，overworked 很值得同学注意，就是呢，工作的太累了。那建议别人好好休息。Maybe you should get some rest. 接下来第五个重点 ，Michelle 又说。That's a pretty personal question. 这句话同学可以学起来。当别人的话太过于侵犯你的隐私，你想要告诉他，我觉得这个太过于个人隐私了。你可以告诉他 ，That's a pretty personal question. 意思就是请对方不要再过过问了。接下来第六点 ，Harry 说 ，I hope you have some sweet dreams. 好，我们就此打住哦。原本的对话里面，这个 three dreams 后面还有 about me。可是呢，我们在平常对别人讲的时候，我们说 I hope you have some sweet dreams， 不要加上 about me， 那是什么意思啊？祝别人有个好梦，祝别人睡得好。我们看完了这些实用的单字、句型、片语之后，我们再看几个在商业英文里面常常看到的单字和片语。首先，第一个是 quotation。quotation 是报价的意思。我们看 Michelle 说 ，We gave the client our quotation and had several meetings throughout the day。我们已经跟客户报过价了，而且呢，一整天开了好几次会。所以 quotation 是报价单的意思。接下来，我们再看到第二个商业英文的运用 ，send somebody overseas， 就是派某个人。到海外出差 ，Michelle 说 ，The boss never sends me overseas. 老板从来没有派我到海外出差。好的，接下来老师邀请大家看到 overworked 这个字。我稍早的时候已经解释过了。Michelle 说到 ，You sound like you are overworked. 这个字非常的重要。那老师想要再补充个例句给大家。I want to quit. I'm tired of being overworked. And underpaid. 我想辞职，因为呢，我的工作量太大，可是薪资太低。好，那由于呢，这个单元其实是关于性骚扰，所以老师想要请大家再回顾一下对话内容，到底有哪一些是不适合的？我们看到，像譬如说 ，Harry 讲 ，He's a bit stingy though, so we might have to share a hotel room. 他在邀约 Michelle 跟他住在同个旅馆的房间，这当然不适合。再比如说 ，Come on, I know you adore me. This could be the start of a beautiful romance. 少来了，我知道呢，你喜欢我。或许呢，我们可以开启一段美丽的恋情。那这当然也是不适合的性骚扰的话。好，以上就是我们今天关于在 Line 上面。不适当的性骚扰对话的说明，希望同学了解到，不要说话让别人觉得你在骚扰他。谢谢大家。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, everybody, and we're going to finish off our lesson today with some discussion questions about this very topic here:、mm -hmm. uh, sexual harassment, especially in the office. And、uh, here's the first question: Do you feel that Harry's messages were inappropriate? Why or why not? 
I think we've been pretty clear on that one already. We do think his messages are inappropriate.、Um, I don't know, Michelle,、uh, how far she's going to take this. She might be a new employee and just、uh, wants to keep her mouth shut and not, you know, rock the boat, which means cause trouble. And even though she's not in. You know, in in the wrong, it's not her fault. This happened.、Um, sometimes, you know, you just want to kind of ignore it and move on. But this guy might be a predator. He might go on to、uh, become more aggressive in the future. We don't know. So, got to think about it carefully.、Uh, if I were Michelle, I'd probably ask、uh, a colleague that I trusted and see、uh, what you should do at that point. Maybe she should talk to the boss. I don't know. Yeah, is he a guy who's done this in the past?、Mm-hmm. Uh, is he the boss's、uh, relative or something? <laughs> he can、yeah. get away with that sort of thing.、Uh-huh. Uh, you never know. I guess you need to look into the situation. But yeah, if I were a girl or a woman, I would probably not be interested in this guy.、Uh, he does look like an awful creep. He's not a gentleman at all. So I guess that answers my question here.、Uh, yes, his、uh, messages were inappropriate.、Uh, yeah, he should start lower there if he is interested.、Uh, suggest a cup of coffee or something. Something like that. Now, here's another question: Have you or someone you know been in a situation where you were sexually harassed, and how did you or the other person handle it? Um, yeah, I've had personal experience.、Um, I could talk though about、uh, a boss Tom and I had at one point during our working careers here in Taiwan. And this boss would give the boys back rubs and shoulder rubs、Ooh. and say inappropriate things like, "Oh, don't you think so and so's handsome?" So it happens everywhere. This was a guy who was actually focusing his attention on other men.、Um, I had a Japanese boss that.、Uh, Tried to go on a business trip with me and didn't、uh, book two rooms. He booked one room.、Ooh. But when we got to Seattle, Washington, where we were headed, someone from the firm that was living there understood what was going on. I didn't. I was so I was so naive. I thought everyone's a good person.、Um, but he stood up immediately and、um, said, "That's two rooms, not one room." So yeah, I had to leave after that. Though it got a little uncomfortable. That can happen, and I'm sure this is a personal subject. I think a lot of people may feel uncomfortable discussing. I should have to say that no one has really harassed me before. You're a big guy. I'd leave you alone. Yeah,、Tom. I think they don't want to mess with me, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, so uh, yeah, I haven't unfortunately.、Uh, unfortunately, I have not. Well, no. Fortunately, fortunately. I haven't had that happen to me. <laughs> But、uh, yeah, I'm sure there are lots of、uh, ladies out there who、uh, have had this happen to them and don't quite know what to do.、Uh, yeah, ask your friends and、uh, maybe do some reading on that to see how you should handle it. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today, and it's the end of our lesson. Thank you for joining us. But join us again next time when we continue to talk about reporting an incident of. Sexual harassment. Please join us then next time. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.